Uh, Preston, state uh, workers here at Harborview, they will be joining union members from throughout Washington for a massive action. It takes place at lunchtime on Tuesday, and while it is not a strike for about an hour, they will walk off the job to send a message to state leaders. Contract negotiations between officials in Olympia and the unions that represent 50,000 state workers have not been going well. The two sides are far apart on pay and staffing levels, and now workers are ready to walk. We care about the people we're serving, and they can't just keep making us do more with less. The walkout will take place at the University of Washington, DSHS, and LNI, and will last for about an hour during state workers' lunch breaks but it's not expected to impact the public. Our goal is really to have this show um, just how important we are without actually hurting the citizens of our state. Union members are demanding a pay boost and broader hiring at places like WashDOT and elsewhere. But say what state leaders have offered amounts to a pay cut over time, though neither side was willing to share specific dollar amounts. State workers say the current low staffing levels leave the public with delays and difficulties when they seek help from state agencies. It's the citizens of the state that are getting hurt the most because then they're seeing longer service times, longer wait times. The Office of Financial Management is handling negotiations for the state. No one was available to be interviewed, but they sent a statement saying, we are facing challenging fiscal choices as we anticipate limited revenue. Just as we've asked state agencies to limit new programs, we are applying the same principle to our negotiations. The state might have less money in the coffers, but it's a value statement. Well, Tuesday's action is being called walkout for Washington, and union leaders say there will be further escalations to follow if they don't start seeing some movement from management. Reporting live, Joel Marino, Como News.